I'm Dr. Amy Johnson and I want to welcome you to my series of online training videos. This is going to be just one in a number of videos. Um, I wanted to be able to reach out to more than just my clients to try to help people along with their basic animal how-to needs. So this series of videos um, is going to give basic information like how to trim your dog's toenails, how to clean their ears, how to brush their teeth. Uh, well, good morning again. This is Dr. Amy Johnson from Creature Comforts Animal Hospital, and this is Seamus. So again, this is another one of my pets, and we're going to talk about ear cleaning today. The key to ears is that they have to be treated long enough and they have to be cleaned effectively or the infection will never truly be resolved. The other thing to remember about ears is a lot of times the ear infection is just a symptom of a bigger problem. So what I want to do today is show you how to clean ears. It's very important. It's an easy thing to do at home. With a human, you can literally stick your finger in your ear and you can almost be at the end of the ear, of the ear canal. They're very short. Um, dogs have a very long, narrow eardrum that is shaped like an L. The one thing that I don't want you to ever use, Q-tips are not your friend when it comes to cleaning ears. In your cleaning repertoire, leave these out. What you do want is a nice ear cleaner, and it needs to be a canine or a feline version for ear cleaning, okay? So what I'm telling you today about dogs can also be extrapolated over to kitties, okay? Not much different. You do not want to use a human product. It is not pH balanced for our pets, okay? So for, for just general purpose cleaning, um, you can use nice, just gentle, epiotic is one that I use in my practice. Um, but ma mainly we're looking for something that's pH balanced for them, maybe has a little bit of an acidic nature to it to break down through some of that um, debris that gets into the ear. We have certain ones that are actually de are designed to break down the ear wax because the ear wax is what actually can, can contribute to um, problems in the ear. Um, and then there's some drying uh, and deodorizing types of cleansers too. So for these animals with some more chronic type problems, they have an odor associated with them. The moistness that gets down in there actually causes some of these infections to continue. So we want to dry these ear canals out. Number one thing to understand, if you've got a dog with an ear infection, please, please take them to the vet because if you start putting ear products down in an ear and we don't know if that ear drum is actually intact, you can cause a big problem. Um, I use cotton balls and I like real cotton. The synthetic stuff does not actually grab onto the debris that we're trying to get it to grab onto. So very simple. What you want to do is just pick up your pup's ears or your kitties and you can look down in to the ear and you see a hole sitting in there and you can take your finger and put it down in the canal. That is just one part of the ear canal and it's very safe. The only time this is going to be uncomfortable for your pet is if that in infection is is happening. Um, with an infection you can look into the ear and you'll see this, this skin that looks nice and just kind of normal pink or grayish colored will be flaming red. Very very painful. Very gently put it down in the ear canal. You're going to give it a squeeze and let me tell you something that feels a little funny. We've all had water in our ears. It's a strange sensation and your dog is going to probably react to it and the first thing they're going to do is shake like mad. The other thing you're going to do once the, the liquid is in there, take your hand and right at the base of the ear, you're just going to rub that ear, okay? What that does is it works that liquid down into the ear canal. Another thing you can do, and I do this frequently, is I take my finger, I put it into the ear canal, and I just move up and down like a plunger. And what that does is that pushes that fluid back and forth in that ear canal and it helps to loosen up all that debris, okay? So you can see he's kind of leaning into that because that feels kind of good to him. Take the cotton ball, put it right down into that ear canal again, and leave it in there, and then just rub the base of the ear a few times, and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna pull it out. Now he has very clear, clean ear drum, or ear canals, I should say. A dog that's got dirty ears is gonna come out brown and waxy, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue to put cotton balls down into that ear canal and flush it and rub it until those cotton balls are coming out clean, okay? So just like that. You can also take 
your cotton ball because sometimes you get a lot of dirt and debris in these little folds and crevices. And so you're just going to rub those ears and clean that out as well. Okay. Now, if you've got a little breed dog, a lot of those guys have lots of hair down in the ear canals. So most groomers will take it and pluck the hair, the hair out. And I recommend that. Some people don't. Personally, I think if you have too much hair down in those ear canals, it is a nidus. It's just something to grab onto dirt and wax, and it actually perpetuates a lot of ear infections. So plucking that hair out is in the dog's best interest long term. Okay? So that is Ear Cleaning 101, and I hope that helps you to, you know, do this a little bit with a little more confidence at home and hopefully will help prevent some of these ongoing ear infections that I see so often. Once again, I'm Dr. Amy Johnson, owner of Creature Comforts Animal Hospital. We specialize in preventative wellness care for our small animals as well as our little pocket pets. Thank you for watching and be on the lookout for our next upcoming video.